from Orlando, Florida. It's the Cube. Covering SAP Sapphire Now 2018. Brought to you by NetApp. Welcome to theCUBE, I'm Lisa Martin in the NetApp booth at Sapphire Now 2018. We are in Orlando, this is an enormous event. There's more than 20,000 people here and there's about a million people that SAP is expecting to engage online. That's a lot. We are excited to welcome to theCUBE for the first time Clara Young, the Director of Strategic Alliances from AppBuddy, and Stephen Cox, the Head of Global Sales Tools at NetApp. Hi guys. Howdy. Hello. Hi Lisa. Thanks for having us. So absolutely, so Clara, tell me about AppBuddy. Who are you guys? and what do you do? So AppBuddy is um, a provider of a user experience layer that can sit on top of core systems like SAP Sales Cloud or SAP Service Cloud and that really allows the administrators to configure a dream workspace where you can get all the data that you need to work with in one place and then the users can interact with that very easily. And so it's all uh, very user friendly and it allows us to enable sales processes. I want to manage my pipelines or my accounts, my contacts, uh, all, all with a very easy to use interface right in the middle of the core system. So your target audience would be customers that are already using SAP or customers that are maybe in the, in the transition from say Oracle to SAP or something like that? Mm -hmm. So any users that are um, planning to use SAP or already using SAP and then want to enhance that user experience, want to give them a faster way to interact with the data, um, more intuitive, more functionality right in, in the same um, core interface. Um, so those would be a good clients for us um, to enhance that experience, absolutely. And what about customers by industry? You know, SAP really kind of being very, very strong in a lot of industries, but manufacturing, digital supply mm -hmm. chain, but if you look at their customers that are here at Sapphire, and there's a million of them, they span so many industries. Yeah. I think yesterday they were saying HANA is installed in 23,000 customers across like 60 industries. Does AppBuddy have a particular suite of industries where you really add even more value or is it fairly horizontal? Oh, that's a really good question. Actually, what's the beauty, I think, of AppBuddy's product is that it is completely agnostic of which process um, or which industry that you're deploying it in. And it's, you know, so you decide, you know, what objects, what, what information I want to put on that. It's not a purpose-built application specifically for, you know, one process or one industry. So we serve clients in all sorts of industries. We have a lot in, you know, high tech or, or um, you know, in the healthcare industry, manufacturing as well well, but we're not specific um, to one industry. So really welcoming any use case, and we'd love to hear you know, from customers, hey, can I, could I do this? You know, would it be, you know, could, with AppBuddy, could I put this object you know, and that object together and build a process basically almost you know, in your own app? And, and we're very um, looking forward to those uh, feedback from customers and wanting to build those uh, use cases with them. And that's been such a huge theme, or really a, an undertone at, at SAP Sapphire the last few days is how much SAP listens to their customers and really involves them and in, in especially strategic accounts like in a collaborative way. And yesterday, Stephen, we spoke with your CIO, Bill Miller, and we talked to him about, you know, NetApp and SAP have been partners for 17 years. NetApp is 26 years young now and has undergone a, a big transformation. Right. Bill talked about some of that yesterday, but you guys also did a big transformation that you were leading yeah. within your sales processes and your CRM, moving to SAP. Talk to us about that. What were some of the reasons for that uh, transformation? Yeah, it's, uh, it's uh, working with Bill and his team. I I'm, I'm represent the business side and, and uh, we're, we're looking as NetApp is it's transforming from a traditional storage company to more cloud. Um, it's a change in the way we go to market. It's that, you know, in the past we ship boxes, you know, to people and, and they install them, uh, or we install them. And in, in the future we're looking to more services and cloud-oriented things. And so, the kind of infrastructure that we built up to support our large sales force is, doesn't work as well in the new world. And so, we about two years ago started a pretty big transformation journey to move from this more old school hardware to more new cloud, and through that process we needed to change our systems. And uh, um, the changing out our CRM became an important component of that because we need more flexibility 
and we needed to sort of be more contemporary. And we worked with AppBuddy in our old system. We used to have Salesforce. Um, and the field was pretty used to using that kind of interface. Um, and when you build stuff like this, you don't always know how important it is to the field. Uh, you know, I have, you have guesses at, 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 at it, but and as we looked at things that we had to do to, to prepare to move, this was always something on our list that we felt like was important. Um, but we weren't able to do it immediately. It took us an, uh, an extra release to get it out, so an extra few months. And uh, through those few months, we learned the hard way that the field really wanted it. It was really impacting them. And uh, we had guessed that we thought it was somewhere around 25% uh, imp uh, improvement in their overall productivity. Um, and what we found was that it's at least that, if not more, wow. be because they came back and said, we can't do our jobs without this. You guys got to get it for us. So they said, either at Buddy or the highway. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> pretty much at Buddy or, or they're not happy. They're not happy all the time anyway. But um, I felt Sales like that, um, <laughs> that by getting that to them, we were enabling them to go faster and do things. And it's simple. It's hard to understand. I think um, for everybody, it, it's a simple layer. Whenever you build a, a CRM or any kind of system, your, your job is to collect information and then display it back, make it easy to change. And the way CRMs typically work today is you, you have a list view of stuff, the opportunities, or deal registrations, quotes, and you just have to look at that list and then pick one you want to edit, and then go to the detail screen and look at it, and then go to the edit screen, and then edit it, and then go back, back, back. And what AppDuddy provides is takes all that noise and makes it into one screen, so that you can just simply make and change the data the way you would expect to on a spreadsheet um, in a simple experience. And once you give it to the reps, they sort of expect that as the table stakes. And, um, and it's a gap, if you look at most CRMs, they don't have this kind of inline edit capability um, out of the box. And so, um, you know, this is a great, SAP is really excited about this because it, it gives them um, a way to solve this problem without having to build it themselves, and, and you know that's the beauty of these kind of infrastructures where you can add capabilities by just uh, plugging something in. And right. You, and, it, and it speaks using our the APIs to the tool, and so all the rules that we build around the data about who should access it, what should happen when they change stuff, should we protect data, all that is followed because it works. The AppBuddy works mm -hmm. right through our APIs, uh, through that SAP provides, and so you don't. It doesn't require a lot of extra coding or anything. In fact, I, I, I'm IT guys which are standing over there somewhere, they don't like it because I do it myself. I'll actually build experiences for the field um, really quickly because that way I can um, make a quick uh, you know, custom business process to support something that's needed. So on the AppBuddy website, Clara, I saw, I love stats. And you guys said, we can save time and improve enterprise productivity by 5x to 10x. That's right. Those are big numbers. That's right. And you were saying that there's been a massive improvement in, in employee productivity, right. and I imagine in terms of the speed is essential. You know, we were talking, uh, the, one of the underlying themes here at Sapphire this year is the intelligent enterprise, which demands the integration and the embedding of advanced emerging technologies, AI for example, um, to make these enterprise is truly intelligent connecting supply chain and demand chain, and it's essential. It's, it's table stakes yep. these days to be able to drive things faster, mm -hmm. right? So that you guys can get what your customers need faster. Mm -hmm. yep. So you mentioned that huge kind of productivity mm -hmm. boost there, uh, but also that you were familiar with AppBuddy before and your sales guys and gals were like, hey, we need to have something that we're familiar with to be able to make our jobs better. So you're also doing, a, it sounds like a pretty good job of listening to your customers. Yeah, I try. Who are probably very vocal. <laughs> I try, right? I try. I mean, it, you know, it's a, it's a hard job uh, because you're sort of channeling, uh, you know, the sales guys and, and, and they're, in our world, they're very different. In Europe, they sell very different than they sell in the U.S., and APAC is different. And even within different sections of Europe or in the U.S., they act differently. And our, our goal is to try to streamline that so that they can act as much the same as they can across that, and we can deploy sort of one experience without having to customize it totally. But um, tools like AppBuddy give us the ability to be much more targeted and flexible. Uh, a simple example I've been given pretty commonly is um, we have our sales kickoff this week, also in Las Vegas, um, and all of our sales guys um, are going there to learn about how, how to sell better, how to sell you know, our new, new products and solutions. 
um, and leverage some of our improved selling processes. And before they go there, we wanted to uh, have them identify a few key opportunities they're working on to say, hey, these are the ones that I'm going to use as my work case as I'm learning these new things. And in theory, as we go through and finish our sales kickoff, and they go back and, and start the selling process, that those opportunities should sell at a higher rate than the other opportunities. And so, uh, to make that work, I, I configured a, gri a grid or an app buddy list view, and all I put on it was the, the list of opportunities and one field that says this is appropriate for our kickoff. And so, instead of putting it in the middle of a very complex world, I sent them an email, and they had a list, and they just had to say this guy, this guy, and that guy, and that's all they had to do. Mm -hmm. And so, our response rate on something which, you know, if you send a list of things to do for the field, they're not going to respond, they're busy, they're, they're making money. Um, but in this case, because it was tied to the new learning and they felt value in it, they were 80% 80, 80 of them responded within 10 days. Yeah. And, wow. And it's, you know, you just don't see that kind of response. But it works because it's a simple experience, right? The only thing they could do with that, they get an email that says, do this, they open it, they see the list, they click yes, 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 and it's done. And that's a whole business process that in, in the old days could take months to prepare for and create fields and deploy new code and do all the things you have to do. And in this case, I can create the fields in a day, uh, create the grid in five minutes, and then I'm put in an email and done, you know? So th th this is where you take things to the next level and, and make it easier for the sales reps to do the things they need to do to help us all be successful. Did it also sort of abstract, I can imagine the fundamental challenges that go along with replacing an entire CRM, going from Salesforce to SAP. Yeah. Does it, is it able, is that able to help kind of abstract some of the inner machinations of that so that the salespeople can just focus on, it, we know it, the same interface. It totally interface. does because the list views that we create are only the things they have to have. And in any system like this, you have a bunch of other fields that are specialized, you know, for say we have a professional services group and they really want to know blah blah, but most sales reps, that's, that, that, they don't deal with that at all. But you need it on the page, I need to build that. In, this, in these views, I can build it for a sales rep view that is perfect for them, right? Meaning, there's no extra fields on that list. It's the, what you need to get your job done. And so it's, it's a, like a laser focus. And then I can build a separate one for a different kind of role and give that one to them. So without changing the tool, I'm just creating a focused experience. It all uses the same things. You need sorting, you need filtering, you need uh, simple edit, and that's all available. And that, all that once they learn that core capability, then the rest just kind of falls in. And then from your perspective, it's probably business outcomes that you know George, your CEO, is going to be really excited about cost savings, employee productivity. Yep. I'm wondering though, you, we're talking about it in the context of what you're doing within your sales processes and mm -hmm. your CRM. Um, Clara, does so obviously working with SAP, are there other business processes that AppBuddy can sit on top of and help to streamline the interface with? Yeah, great question, and actually, thank you for asking, because I was going to say, we talked a lot about sales, but we could be enabling any other processes as well, and services, for example, is a big one. I've got you know, a list, a queue of cases, I want to make quick updates to that, you know, I want to change things, or um, you know, I'm doing some forecasting, some account planning, um, but our vision, uh, ultimately, is to be able to bring, you know, from lead to cash, you know, all processes and again tailored for each you know user role specifically for them and we're not giving them the solution you know the customers are defining what do they need for each one of those processes and that's the power I think of this configurability and agility that you get uh, which not you know built and you know, hard-coded, it's really you who puts it together. Um, but again, we really have that vision of, of not only uh, linking the CRM data, but ultimately we would love to be able to um, you know, get more use cases of, hey, the CRM data together, maybe with your ERP data, I want to see um, you know, my opportunities, but I also want to see the orders, and I also want to see the invoices. So get really this 360 view of your customers that I think we've talked a lot about, even Bill McDermott was talking about it, that's so uh, essential and critical to be customer focused is to have that visibility and with this um application where you can basically pull data from wherever you need it for that specific view, you give um, you know, your users that, that, that full visibility and, and therefore you know, much faster answer questions, you know, be in context, you know, not lose critical information of right, a customer. Right, because you're right, Bill McDermott did mention yesterday in the keynote um, 
about really what, what they've SAP's been pretty vocal about for a while. They want to be one of the top 10 global brands. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, most valuable brands. And they want to be up there with Apple and Google right. and Coca-Cola. And that's for a software company that sells invisible technology. They're right. on their way. They're now ranked number 17. But he talked about this yeah kind of unique position that SAP's in to link and synchronize right. the demand chain with the supply chain, That's which right. is pretty revolutionary. But ultimately, it's not just about having a 360 view of sales automation, it's of the entire customer process. Correct. So Steven, yeah. sounds like you are a rock star at NetApp with yeah. your sales guys going, hey, we need this AppBuddy technology to make our lives easier, our jobs easier. Mm -hmm. Do you foresee rolling the AppBuddy technology out to include other business processes? And All the time, yeah. It's, it's all about the data and you know, change management or getting the field to act in the same way is really hard. It, it doesn't sound like it should be, but you know, <laughs> you take a thousand, it's like having a thousand cats on a table <laughs> and getting them all to look one direction just doesn't happen, right? And so, so my job is to, to make that and if I can have it with a single user experience, right, without you know, having different flavors of screens and extra fields and narrow it down to what they need, um, bringing whatever data they need to, f to flow from end to end is, um, you know, it makes life easier and I've got them all trained, you know, we had very high usage in our previous platform and we're building now from that, but they all know how to use it now. So I don't have to, I don't have to train the cats to look in the same direction, they all know where to go. All I got to do is add the data, right? And, you know, if you look at NetApp's transformation, you know, from a storage company to a data company, you know, my job is really data. It's not, it's not about the tools as much, it's about how do we facilitate the sales people to do more with what they have, right? How do I do a cross-sell, upsell? How do I get yeah. them enabled so that they can move faster so that it's kind of innate and built into what they do? Yeah. Um, and you know, in that, you have to build in, we were just at another panel um, talking with SAP about, you know, you have to give back to the sales reps, you know, and to the people doing the data, because CRM's not fun. I mean, it's not, it's not like, hey, I'm going to go play my CRM tonight. <laughs> it, it's, it's a different deal. You, CRM requires work, and so you need to um, give them stuff back, you know, so do, do uh, machine learning, do things that uh, provide scoring, show the probability of close, help them be more successful in their job and bring the data together in one spot. You know, the, I think yesterday one of the themes also was data and, and trust the new currency, mm -hmm. right? If you can't access it and extract valuable insights immediately and yeah. act on them, then you risk being, you know, yeah. uh, you search by your competition. So right. being able to enable the data to be accessible, insights clean as quickly as possible, you must be the king. Well, I don't know about that. The data king. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's definitely our job. But you know, as we wrap here in the last few seconds, digital transformation, every co company has to go through it or yeah. you're not relevant. But that requires a cultural transformation it does. as well. And it mm -hmm. sounds like what you guys are doing together is helping that, at least from the Salesforce's perspective of where change has to happen. Yep. Um, not only is it improving the efficiency of your SAP environment, your CRM environment, but it's also helping from, a, it sounds like from a cultural perspective as, hey, we've got to go through this transformation. Mm -hmm. Let's make it as, um, where we can simplify, let's do that, so. Very much so, it's very, um, just like I was talking about with the cat problem, the, <laughs> you, you got the reps that are used to doing something in the way and you're saying, hey, you know, we're going to evolve and do something different and, you know, that change is rough. It, people don't feel like it's the right thing at times. And um, the, the great news with this change and the timing of it is that when you're moving from one platform to the other, you have time to, it's the one time in the life cycle of these products where you can make significant change, drop whole business process, and, and uh, they won't even notice it. I dropped three quarters of the stuff that we had before and just didn't build it. And, and you know, I don't have people coming to me going, hey, I really missed you know, doing that. Um, and that's good news. We, we, we're helping drive the, the change. Yeah. Well, thanks so much you guys for stopping by theCUBE and, and Clara telling us about AppBuddy, what you guys do, how you're working together with NetApp and SAP. We appreciate your time. Thank, thank you, you for so the much. opportunity, Lisa. Thank we you. want to thank you for watching theCUBE. I'm Lisa Martin at SAP Sapphire 2018. Thanks for watching.